Hi guys, Abs here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over two key areas. One of the areas is actually about a recent Google update, which I'm hoping you're already aware of. And the second um, area that I'm going to be going over is about a brand new free website um, that I've actually fallen in love with. And I think you're going to feel exactly the same. Um, so what I want to bring to your attention is um, the very first thing is the latest Google update. A couple of weeks ago, Google actually removed um, AdWords um, or ads from the actual sidebar. So let me give you an example. Um, if I type in something like copywriting or copywriter, um, okay, we've actually got one ad here from Fiverr um, and we see a few ads towards the bottom as well. But if I write copywriting, that's the one that I was checking earlier, um, it only shows the ads towards the bottom. Um, so when you go towards the bottom, as you can see, it only shows three ads. Um, there's other searches that I've done as well, like iPhone, and it brings up a box towards the right hand side as well. Um, and the more um, um, competitive kind of queries like SEO services, for example, actually show four ad placements towards the top as well. Um, and they can show towards the bottom because they're more competitive. So web design and try and try them yourself actually, and you'll see exactly what I mean. Um, but there's actually lots of places you can read all about this guys. You can find out how it's affecting your click through rate. If you're an organic user, you can find out exactly how it's affecting um, PPC users. If you're actually paying Google for them positions as well. Um, and you can find this out from search engine engine land or your may maybe your favorite blog that you, you use I'm sure they've blogged about it as well um, so anyway I'm gonna leave this with you I'll actually leave a link to this page as well so you can um, check it out even further I do apologize for not actually making a note about this sooner um, I was actually preoccupied um, so anyway the website that I want to take you to now is called answer the now if you guys can remember Google Wonder Wheel um, now I've actually got an image of Google Wonder Wheel here how it used to look um, what you used to do is you add your keyword in there and then you actually it visualizes the relationship of the words next to it and you can click on each one and you can actually continue to um, really go in deeper and deeper I mean here's another image here as well um, where you can bring up all these wonder wheels and it shows you the relationship to everything as well now this website itself doesn't allow you to make all these clicks or anything like that what I'll do is I'll actually enter SEO for example and I'll click on search and as you can see um, it gives us it it, it um, actually um, separates them in different areas like questions prepositions and alphabetical um, and I'm going to be taking you through all these and you can actually download all this data as well guys which is absolutely brilliant because this is totally free of charge yeah um, and it's really cool and I'm going to show you some other real cool things about this website in a moment as well but let's just take a look at this data okay so here is um, the visualization of the questions and obviously you can have a look at the data part of it as well so where SEO where was Danny SEO born where to get SEO projects which SEO what not you and you can see the visualization as well I really like this visualization I think it's really cool the way they've done it and I also feel it's really cool the way you can actually separate each one by the questions as well it's you know and then you can visualize each one with the questions if you wanted to as well um, you go down a little bit further guys and now you can see other ones what they're calling prepositions which is like SEO for SEO like SEO near to versus and again on this you can change it to data view and you can th see things like SEO without so SEO domain without WW WordPress SEO without plugin um, so they're really good questions and they're really good areas you can actually come along um, and find new topics and subject ideas about um, which are really really cool and of course you've got your normal Google suggest as well which is SEO, SEO A, SEO B, SEO C, SEO D, SEO E, SEO F, and all the way down. Okay, so this is absolutely brilliant, guys, because it doesn't cost us a penny to use. Okay, so anyway, you can export everything to CSV file as well, but what I want to show you here is something really cool that I like about this, um, and that's seeing existing reports and being able to see existing reports. So one thing you've got to be um, a little bit clear about here is um, when you do work with this, the best way to work with this is to put your seed keyword in here if you put your seed keyword in here then it's going to allow you to go out there and get all of the long tails for you if you're going to put a long tail keyword in here then it's not going to really work as well as it would work with um, a seed keyword um, because it's going to be able to find all the variations for that keyword for you okay so anyway see existing reports and let me show you what I mean um, so it actually tells you the dates of when these were actually performed um, and this is really cool um, I've actually gone through quite a few of these and maybe some users who are using this website don't know about this um, but what you can do is you can actually pick up on 
keywords okay really good keywords as well um, that you wouldn't have thought of otherwise um, and it's really really good um, for niche research I found it excellent I mean I've been browsing through some of these for ages and ages um, and I really really liked it so for example Morn Mountains DIY ideas if we go over to the view report for DIY ideas straight away we get all of the data down here Okay, so for example, you're going data view, Doctor Who DIY ideas. Okay, what are good DIY ideas? So it straight away gives you a subject, gives you a niche to tap into. And then on top of that, it gives you all of the long tail keywords that you need to dominate that niche or that idea and make your content the most relevant. And then it goes out there and gets you all the suggestions as well. So I mean, how cool is that guys? You don't have to come along here and create a new report if you wanted to. For example, we could do something like backlinks, which I've already done. Um, you could actually come here and go and see existing reports and really come down and find some um, really cool um, keywords to target now it doesn't tell you how competitive they are and it doesn't tell you things like that obviously I'd be using these kind of keywords and verifying everything inside of something like niche genetics um, because that would do all the competitor analysis and everything for you um, however just as a basis and a way to get new content ideas if you're ever stuck to find any new content ideas or to add blog content to your actual website um, then just come along here enter your keyword in here um, and let it do the work for you um, I haven't actually tried this with us or anything like that to see if there's any difference um, I've actually just been using as as the standard one which was um, SEO uh, which was UK altogether um, but what we can do is we can have a look here 8371121521152 okay and we'll do SEO here as well Okay, yeah, it looks exactly the same, doesn't it? I think what, what happens, it might automatically pick up your location by the IP and automatically configure it in there, unless you're actually not in a, in the UK or the US, in uh, in which case you might want to use one of the European locations here, which will, obviously, which will obviously give you better suggestions to work with. Um, So anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave a link to this as well for you. It's a brilliant website. I found it really cool and I really hope that I've done justice, um, enough justice to explain how cool this website is. And I really hope you guys enjoy working with it as well so thank you very much and i hope you enjoy this video